Welcome to Links Double Seven TV News Report, providing you with the best in local and international news updates. This is a place where you can get the most reliable and informative news information. Links Double Seven TV News Report. Today is Saturday, December the thirtieth, twenty twenty-three. These are the news making the headlines. Cops say Melissa Silvera's murder probe is sensitive. DSP fits Bailey satisfied with the pace of investigation. The police say they are satisfied with the pace at which the probe in the ongoing investigation into the murder of Melissa Silvera, the wife of former member of parliament Julian Silvera, who represented the People's National Party. While being tight lipped when pressed by reporters for an update on the case at a press conference on Thursday, Deputy Commissioner of Police DSP in charge of crime and the security portfolio in the Jamaica Constabulary Force Fitz Bailey said that the investigation was very sensitive at this time. What I can say is that the investigation is ongoing and I am satisfied with the pace at which the investigation is going, he said. It's a very sensitive investigation and I don't wish to get involved in divulging too much details, but I am satisfied with the pace at which it is going, Bailey stated. He also shared that he received an update on the case on Wednesday, but he opted not to disclose any information regarding the update. However, the Deputy Commissioner of Police promised that at an appropriate time, the police will release information regarding the case. It was previously reported that Melissa Silvera died in her sleep on November the 10th, but the police upgraded their probe after the post-mortem examination revealed that she was shot at least three times. Since then, Julian, the one-term MP for St. Mary Western, has been interviewed by the police and has retained the services of a prominent attorney. But the attorney has repeatedly stated that his client is not a suspect in the murder. The Silveras were to celebrate their eight years of marriage this month. Links Tableau 7 TV will continue to chat this story and have more details to come on this in a later newscast. Continuing the news. Police constable and girlfriend implicated in murder. The police in Clarendon say they have arrested a police constable alongside his girlfriend and another individual as part of an ongoing investigation into the murder of a man identified as Danny Lowe. It is reported that Lowe was murdered on December 27th in the vicinity of Longville Park Boulevard in the parish. The police constable is also under investigation for possible breaches of the Firearms Act. This development is part of the wider investigative process reflecting the ongoing efforts to thoroughly examine all aspects of the case. As the investigation continues, updates will be provided, the police said in a statement. Continuing the news. The St. Elizabeth police remains on high alert after threats have been issued for reprisal based on the shooting incident that took place in trial St. Elizabeth. There is a strong warning for the St. Elizabeth police and the wider Air 3 police division to be on the alert for reprisal attacks. This comes on the heels after two robbers were shot and killed during a robbery attempt by a licensed firearm holder in trial St. Elizabeth on Christmas Eve. The men were in the process of robbing a bar when they were challenged by a licensed firearm holder and subsequently met their demise. It is now understood that cronies of the deceased men Christopher Gardner and Chevron Hall are now threatening reprisal attacks. The police are therefore urging members to be extra vigilant. Other police measures include increased stop and search along roadways and targeted operation. The police is also contemplating the possibility of relocating those who were present at the robbery. The police believe that there was a third suspect in the attack. In the meantime, the police is urging Romario Knight, also known as Maro, to turn himself into the nearest police station. According to a police statement, he frequents the areas of Ridge, Trial, Overhill and Junction in St. Elizabeth, Effortville, Boxhaven and Boxcommon in Clarendon, and Allison, Hanbury and Greenvale in Manchester. The police have stated that the men have strong criminal ties in the neighbour in Manchester. Continuing the news. Deporty charged for a murder committed 21 years ago after arriving on the island in Jamaica. The St. Catching Salt Police have arrested a man who they say have been at large for 22 years. He has been identified as 47-year-old Anthony Reed, otherwise called Christopher Reed, and Christopher Barrett of Marley Acres, Old Harbour St. Catherine. Reed was charged on Thursday, December 28, for the murder of 26-year-old Dinsdale Hislop, otherwise called Prince of Portsmouth in Portmore. 
Prince was stabbed and killed at a bar in Northern Parade in Portsmouth on Thursday, December 20, 2001, around 10.30 p.m. Reed allegedly fled the island to the United States, but on Thursday, December 21st, he was deported after serving time in prison in a U.S. federal jail. Upon return to the island, he was taken into custody, interviewed and charged for a murder he committed 21 years ago. Crime Officer for the St. Catherine Salt Police Division, Deputy Superintendent of Police German Algin has vowed to go after criminals who have eluded investigators for years. Meanwhile, Commanding Officer for the Division, Superintendent of Police Christopher Phillips, had high praises for the diligence and professionalism of the investigators throughout the period of the investigation. Continuing the news. Man shot dead as cop foil kidnapping attempt in St. Catherine. A late night police operation in Thaws Meadows, Spanish Town, St. Catherine on Thursday saw the police successfully foiling a kidnapping resulted in the rescue of the victim and the arrest of two people and the seizure of a firearm. A suspect was also fatally shot. Reports on the police are that the operation began around 10 p.m. after a report was received that a man had been kidnapped and a ransom was being demanded. The police immediately launched a rescue operation. During the exercise, the police reportedly encountered armed resistance. In the ensuing exchange, one of the suspects was fatally shot. He was taken to hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. He has not yet been identified. A .38 revolver containing .38 cartridges was seized at the scene. The Independent Commission of Investigation has since commenced a probe into the incident. Commander for the Air Fire Police Division, Assistant Commissioner of Police Gary Griffiths, has commenced the swift action of the St. Catherine North Police, saying the team prevented a potential tragedy and demanded that the force commitments to public safety and its resilience efforts is combating crime. The police are urging anyone with additional information to come forward to assist the police in their ongoing investigations. Persons can call Crime Stop at 311 or the Spanish Town Police Station at 876-984-2305. Continuing the news. Toll fee travel on the Maypen to Williamsfield Highway extended until March. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Most Right Honorable Mr. Andrew Honis, has announced an extension of the toll-free period from Maypen to Williamsfield Leg, Phase 1C of the East-West Highway, through to March 31, 2024. This extension grants the public an additional three months of toll-free travel on the new segment of the highway. A release from the Office of the Prime Minister said Friday that the decision is intended to provide more time for ongoing negotiation between Trans Jamaica Highway Limited and the National Road Operation and Construction Company Limited. The discussion focusing on finalizing the concession for Phase 1C, for which Trans Jamaican Highway current operator of the Kingston to Maypen leg of the East West Highway holds right of first refusal, the release said. Honis highlighted the significant benefits of the Maypen to Williamsfield Highway, noting that the reduced travel times and lower vehicular wear and tear for motorists. Looking ahead, the government plans to further extend the highway to bypass Perthry within the next five years as part of the commitment to improve Jamaica's road infrastructure. As these development progress, Mr. Honis emphasized the importance of responsible driving and urged motorists to prioritize safety on the roads. Continuing the news. Another man detained in murder of politicians Phillips Powell, daughter and her mother. The police have confirmed that another man has been detained in connection with the kidnapping and murder conspiracy that claimed the lives of 10-month-old daughter of the Member of Parliament for East Kingston and Port Royal, Philip Paulwood, and her 27-year-old mother. The suspect was taken into custody on Wednesday and is to undergo through an administrative process, according to the Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of crime and the security portfolio, Fitz Bailey. Speaking at a press conference on Thursday, Mr. Bailey assured that further details surrounding the suspect's arrest will be made known at a later date. We are going to ensure that every person who participated in this crime faces justice. We are committed to that as an organization, declared Deputy Commissioner of Police Mr. Fitz Bailey. He said that the killing of the mother and child was one of the most gruesome crimes that the law enforcers had ever seen. The suspect brings to five the number of people arrested in relation to the kidnapping and murder of Paul's daughter Soraya and her mother Tashina Patterson. The two were kidnapped from their Glenmore Drive home in St. Andrew on September the 9th and taken to Stony Hill also in St. Andrew 
before being driven to East Kingston where they were shot and killed and their bodies burnt in a case that shocked the nation. U.S. Navy Petty Officer Leota Bradshaw who described herself as Paul's well wife and with whom he shares a daughter is said to be the mastermind behind the murders. The murder contract was reportedly for $500,000 and Bradshaw allegedly made a down payment of $100,000 for the murders to be committed. Her cousin Roland Balfour, a 30-year-old assistant graphic designer of a Kingston address, has been charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping and misprison of felony. They have been remanded in custody until next year, when their court date is set for March 6, 2024. Two other men confessed to their roles in the murder for hire plot and were sentenced in November this year. One of the men were sentenced to 30 years behind bars on each count of two counts of murder. The sentences are to run concurrently and he must serve at least 20 years before being eligible for parole consideration. The other convict received 7 years and 10 months in prison for two counts of accessory before the fact to murder among other offenses. Continuing the news, Jamaica's reggae girls in 2023 as top Caribbean football union team. Jamaica's reggae girls will end the year as the highest ranked Caribbean football union team in the FIFA World Rankings. The Jamaicans are ranked 48, down three places in the latest World Rankings from Apex Body of Sport, making them the highest ranked team in the CONCACAF region and one of five Caribbean football union teams inside the world's top 100. After finishing turning the CONCACAF's Women's Championship with a 1-0 win against Costa Rica in July, the highest of the year for the reggae girls was a place in the FIFA Women's World Cup from July 20 to August 20 in Australia and New Zealand. The reggae girls failed to earn a qualification for the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris, France when reigning champions Canada beat them 4 goals to 1 and aggregate in the CONCACAF qualification in September. St. Lucia dropped 5 spaces to 155 in the world to sit at the top of the Kanka Cup top 20 list. The reggae girls are now ranked at the top of the Caribbean Football Federation team for 2023. This has been Links to Below 7 TV News Report. Thanks for watching.